years ago, we were commissioned by a foundation as an interdisciplinary team at GCL to look at synergies between sanitation and the sustainable development goals. And as part of that collective effort and through reviewing final publications, we found that there were synergies between sanitation and 130 out of the 169 targets. But one of the outcomes of that discussion was, well, this is the global evidence review, but how can we contextualize this? How can we co-develop this and apply this approach jointly with our local partners? So we are a population of about closer to 4 million people. Um, and there's rural and peri urban sort of divide that exists. There's water shortages. So any sanitation choice that is made has to take into account the environmental issues, has to take into account water scarcity, has to take into account um, various geographies and affordability um, issues that exist within the city. One of the most exciting things about this project is that it, it, it coincides with a, a larger city process that talks to the monitoring and evaluation of SDGs at the city level. So what this project does is that it, it, will, it will assist us towards breaking those silos that exist between various departments by just simply demonstrating um, the, the link between sanitation and, and 169, 169 um, uh, targets that, that, that exist across other, other SDGs. I think the value here really is this um, transdisciplinarity. You know, so we have academics on one side from multiple uh, disciplines working together in, te- in an interdisciplinary way, but we also are now very importantly bringing in policymakers and practitioners so that we can work together to find these kind of integrated um, approaches to sanitation and the SDGs. So it comes back to the point on partnerships of equivalence. And in the COVID era, I would say those partnerships are even more important because I'm an academic sitting in London. I mean, who am I to talk about the context, the situation on the ground in Durban? So for me, it is vital that I have partners in Durban who I can trust uh, to deliver this project and to deliver the project outcomes and uh, the policy outcomes which are required. And by the partnership with universities gives us access to cutting edge um, uh, research um, that is, is, is based on, on real facts on the ground and it's giving us um, the whole journey and process of understanding what is happening in, in our own context, which is, is something extremely valuable, especially in the times of... Um, of austerity measures where we cannot really afford consultants, but also it, it should have been a culture, I guess, in, 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 even before that the partnership and the relationship between the university and, and universities and government is much closer because it really does add quite a lot of value in, in how we develop services. The pandemic has really uh, made more obvious existing inequalities in relation to service provision and sanitation. And I think there is an opportunity here through this work, looking at linkages and synergies to challenge the dominant discourse where the pandemic has really kind of phrased sanitation as a responsibility that is down to individual households, you know, asking them to wash their hands, to to be, to to practice better uh, hygiene, et cetera when really what we should be talking about is how sanitation really is a collective uh, responsibility. And not only that, if we um, approach it as more of an integrated um, issue to tackle that links to a number of other uh, sustainable development goals and targets, we can move forward and find solutions that are more inclusive and might be able to address existing injustices.